Hi, it's JD again, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to run Dreamcast games onto a disc and play it on your Dreamcast. So first, you would need to go onto the internet. Oh, and so far I've only gotten this to work with Windows computers. Go into the internet. Search for a program called Disk Disk no, no. Disk Juggler. And go down to Disk Juggler Professional Edition. Find the download. Hit Demo Edition, unless you want to pay. Mirror 1 and start downloading. Which I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to show that today. Then you go up to this bar and you. Wait a minute, I gotta figure out what the website was. Just give me a second. Go to DC I S O Zone dot com, which is where all the Dreamcast game downloads are. And Find the game you would want to download. We'll go. Yeah, well, first you go into Dreamcast ISOs over here. Um, you, they have um, I think it was 48 games. You could download or 57 pages of games. So way more than 48. Then they got homebrew games. Which is pretty awesome because they got a, tons of those. And lots of more pretty cool. How many pages? Eight pages of those, even battle toads. Then they have um, homebrew apps, emulators. Now these are cool. You can play a bunch of different systems games on the Dreamcast Amiga, Atari. Bleemcast, which is um to play PS1 games on your Dreamcast. So, hmm, I'll try. I don't know which Bleemcast I should get. I know there's there's another Bleemcast in ISOs, which will probably work better. The B. Down to they even have a bu some Japanese games in here too. Bleemcast, I'll get that one today. So then if you can do fast download, but it costs six dollars a month if you want to do that. So I'll just go slow download. And then you hit save. And I don't know how long it should take. It uh, goes pretty fast. Then you get your CDR. When does it's done downloading? Oh wait, but I don't have the RAR expander thing on here. Damn it. Usually what I do is I download it on my Mac and put it on Windows. So I guess you'd also need um, WinRAR to do it if you're doing it that way. That's something I forgot about. You need to go download WinRAR first. Unless you already have it. Hit download now. Uh, what's making me do this? I just want the free one. I was at some crappy website. I just want to... Sure. We get that one. Save. Save. And it'll download 
load pretty fast. Hit run on the WinRAR. Run again. If you're using Vista, hit allow. Install WinRAR. It's all a pretty fast process. Okay. Then hit run when 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 rar. Um, open your ISO file. Hit allow. Now extract it. Extract to. Okay. Does it extract? I don't know. Let's try it like this. Extract to. Ah. Yes, to all. Guess it did. Okay, so then you would want to open Disk Juggler, which I'm still in the demo edition. Hit OK. Go like that new. You you got all these options. Hit burn disk images. Hit OK. Um choose your source. Which is you'd have to find it. I have all these. I've already burned about five of them. To your computer. Suzanne. somewhere blame cast okay put your CDR in <laughs> and it's got to be just a normal CDR it, it won't do it on DVDRs wait for it to load and then you just hit start and it'll take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to burn depending on how big the file is. What do you like to do? Ah, oh, then I just always hit yes. Hit yes. And then you just wait for it to burn. Which takes a while. It's at three percent of the first file. It does take a while to burn, so that's pretty much about it. Then once it's done burning, you take it out and put it in your Dreamcast or a Dreamcast computer thing, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's it.